What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is Rita of See What Rita's Cooking. Good to see you, good to be seen. Um, I hope this day finds you blessed, uh, highly favored. Today, you guys, we are gonna be doing a pasta dish. Um, make sure you give me a like. I'm saying um a lot, I don't know what that's about. Make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to the channel. See my little cute little apron that my girlfriend got me. Um, um, again, it's cute. But anyway, y'all, let's get on right on into this video. I'm going to be making chicken parmesan bake today. I think you guys, you guys are going to really like this. I hope you enjoyed my first video of 2024, my gumbo greens. Baby, them greens were so good. They were loved by all who had a pleasure of tasting them. I hope you have already checked out that video. And if you have, that you gave me a like on that one too. Let's get in this mood of liking in 2024. Let's get out of the mood of hate and, and negativity because food should not be making you feel like that. If I'm not cooking something that you like or the way that you like, then that's okay. We don't all eat the same thing. We don't all cook the same way. But let's get into what I'm doing right now for this recipe that I'm doing my way, okay? So I'm going to be using rigatoni for my um, pasta today. And what I'm going to be doing, you guys, is I'm going to be cooking this pasta al dente, okay? That means about a minute to two minutes less than what the directions say to do and the reason why i'm doing that is because it's going into a 375 degree oven once we uh, get it all built up okay so let's get down to what we have over here the sp the suspects that are going to be going into this i just want to say hi to you guys okay we're going to get over here and we're going to show you what we're doing i'm going to do these off uh camera get them all ready but what we have is we have our chicken. I seasoned it in Italian seasoning and salt. I have me some seasoned flour right here. I have me two eggs beaten. And then I have me some Italian bread crumbs right here. We're going to be... Now, I started this process, but I messed it up. But I'm going to still use those two. I'm just going to put them to the side. Let me tell you what you need to do. Oh, I do. I, I also, the cheese that I'm going to be using, mozzarella cheese with some Parmesan cheese. Uh, those are going to be used in the casserole, in the bake, okay? So let's get right on down. I think you all know what to do with a dredge, okay? We're going to take us a couple of them. What you don't want to do is overcrowd your pan, okay? You don't want to overcrowd it. You don't want to overcrowd while you're dredging because you want to get a good crust on there. So you're going to have to take the time to really get you some in here and then dredge them and let them sit, okay? So we're going to be putting us some little, you know, flour on here. I hope you guys uh, have had an opportunity to look at those gumbo greens, y'all. Those gumbo greens were so off the chain. Everybody that got a chance to eat them, they just loved them, honey. And I know y'all don't love them, too. Okay? Good old southern dish. Um, so we're just going to dredge it. You don't want to leave too much uh, flour on there. You know, you just want to get a good little dusting of the flour, right? And then you want to go into your flour, uh, your egg okay get it all over there then you're going to put it in those breadcrumbs make sure you get you some good egg on there let it fall off look at there let it fall off y'all know how to dredge right we're going to be putting it in that um those breadcrumbs and we're going to be covering them up and then what i like to do is sit them to the side on a wire rack just let them all uh, sit out, like apart from each other. Spread them out. Let them get their own little space, okay? So that when we fry them up, they'll all have them a good coating on them, and then they'll get good and crispy. So I'm not going to show you all of that. I will show you once they're all on my wire rack. But I'll be back as soon as I get all of these dressed, okay? Okay, I got a new phone. I think I told y'all that. Where's my paws at? Okay, you guys. Hey, y'all. So, I have dredged all of my chicken. Y'all, all this chicken came from two boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I split and made these little strips in. And I still got some left. I just got tired of dredging. I was like, God dang. I mean, God dang. Okay, so now let's get these noodles ready before we put them in our 
pan with our casserole dish. Now I got my grease over there getting good and hot. I want to make sure because we have a breading on the outside that's got a little uh, dusted uh, cheese blend in there. I want to make sure that I cook these on a medium, um, you know, a medium heat. We don't want to rush them. We want them crispy and beautiful. So that's what I'm going to be going for. And all the while, I'm still letting my um, strips get ready. You know, they're sitting in that crust so that when we put them in the in the oil, they won't just be all the stuff falling off. So this is one entire box, you guys, of that uh, rigatoni. Now, I'm looking at it crazy because y'all know I am about making more than I need or making big stuff because my kids always come over. Um, and this one box ain't looking like it's enough for me, but I'm going to try to not go overboard. Now, I have me a, my big daddy. I think this is my, this is not nine by, this is something, 11 by 15 or something like that, I think. I'm going to just put me some sauce down in the bottom. Now, a lot of these roast recipes, most of these recipes actually call for marinara sauce, at least 32 ounces of that. I, I prefer the um, taste of uh, pasta sauce to marinara sauce. Marinara says it's pasta sauce, but pasta sauce don't say it's marinara sauce. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, another both uh, tomato based. Or what have you. So I'm just going to put me some right at the bottom. Now, how much marinara uh, or pasta sauce you use is going to be strictly up to you. Because let me tell you why. You can decide if you want it to be, um, you want it to be juicy or you want it to be dry. I want it to be more of a juicy. And this is like, what, 48 ounces, I think. Yeah, I think this is a 48 ounce. I'm going to pour almost this whole. Wow, you sure know how to pop up out of in people's face, sir. Golly, you rude. Okay, I'm going to pour almost the entirety of that jar in there. I want mine to be really saucy. And let me tell you something. And I've, I've told this story before. And I've given y'all this clue before. Or this fact. If your casserole or your baked dish or whatever goes into the oven dry, honey, baby, sugar, plum, you can just best believe it's going to come out dry, okay? So you want it to go in with some body, okay? Some body, oddy, oddy. <laughs> Sound like I'm saying about myself. But anyhow, you want it to go in there with some body to it. You want it to have some salt. Well, I do. Now, you that, that's personal. That's a PP, okay? That's a personal preference. And I tell y'all here that cooking is about what you like for you and your family, okay? So this right here is a good enough consistency for me. I still see some sauce down here. And I'm going to make sure that every one of these noodles are coated. Now, let me take you over to this skillet. And let me show you what I've done over here. Hold on just a second. Okay, you guys, so here I do. I have my oil. I didn't go all the way up with the oil. I will probably have to um, flip these. But also in this oil, you guys, I know you can see that little film, the little film that's on there. That is from grease. You got, I mean, not grease. <laughs> a tablespoon of butter. I add it to my oil. Now, what you want to do is you want to drop these away from your face. You want to drop them into your oil. And what you want to do is just get them crispy. Probably about three minutes, three or four minutes on each side. And we're going to be taking them out and letting them drain on a paper towel. Okay? So, that's what I'm going to be doing now. So, you have your oil and a tablespoon of uh, butter. Okay? Let me see. Make sure we don't crowd this skillet. Okay? Make sure everybody got their own little space. And I'm just going to be cooking these up, you guys. It's not... Um, nothing hard about that, so I'm not going to make you watch me. I will let you see them once I have done them all, and then we'll get through with this video and go ahead on and make this casserole and bake it in the oven, okay? Be back. Okay, you guys, you see my chicken tenders, that my strips, they came out so beautifully, you guys. And I'm going to just cut them in good-sized chunks. Not little bitty chunks. I want some good pieces in my um, 
in my bag and I'm just gonna cut them. And so when I get back, after I cut them, we're gonna start making our casserole. But I just want you to see them and look how good they turned out. They are so good. I don't know if you can hear this crunch. They are so good, you guys. So I'm gonna keep on chopping these up and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, let's do our casserole, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take half of my pasta and I'm gonna put it down at the bottom on top of some pasta sauce, right? Remember, I already mixed some pasta sauce and some cheese in here. So we're gonna take half of it, right? We're gonna put it right down. Right there. We're gonna take some cheese, a handful. This is just my mixture of mozzarella and parmesan, right? We're gonna put it in there. I'm going to pour me just a little bit of sauce across the top. Y'all don't have to do this. This is me being saucy and me being extra. Cause y'all know I'm extra AF, okay? Why would I stop? I can't reach my chicken. Y'all still see that? Let me get my good old crispy chicken, the star of the chicken parmesan show. We're just gonna put us half of the chicken on the top of this. And then we're gonna layer this stuff again, you guys. And then we're gonna layer it again. These are so crispy. And I hope and pray and that they maintain some of this crispiness. I really hope they do. I don't know. This is my first time doing it in a casserole type dish, but I do make chicken parm. I do have a, you know, old fashioned, uh, regular way that we're used to doing the uh, chicken parm on my um, channel, okay? And then we're just gonna do the rest of it right on the top, okay? Right on the top of there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Spread it out. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Y'all, it's probably won't be this big. Y'all know I got a whole box and a half of uh of this uh pasta, right? Rigatoni, okay? Who make me say, okay, it's a rigatoni. I got some really rigatoni, okay? We're gonna put us uh, some more cheese on here. This is where we're gonna really get the cheese that we want on here. And I'm just gonna kinda go wild with my cheese, okay? I'm gonna put my meat on top of here and I'm gonna put me some sauce here and there. Hither and yon, y'all know how I like to do it. Hither and yon, okay? That mean I'm doing something when I put it hither and damn yon. Ooh, I'm over here cooking, okay? And you gonna be cooking when you do it as well. Okay, let's get the rest of our chicken. Why do they keep doing it? Making all this bad noise. Mm -hmm. You gotta put your teeth together. Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta act like that. We see you. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna put some more sauce. And I'm gonna put this uncovered, okay? In a 300. Say 75 degree oven. Okay. Get all my chicken on there. I might drop me some more cheese and some more sauce on there. And we're going to put it in the oven uncovered. Like I said, 375 uncovered for 25 minutes. And probably about 5 minutes on the broils. So we'll know, we'll make sure that we get that crunch we want. Now, you see how that is, all right? want to get it everywhere. We want this chicken to be in every bite, and I know it's going to be, okay? So we're just going to go right here, just like this. I make some mess, honey. I do, but I, I'm the one cleaning it up. So if I make one, I ain't make one. Ain't nobody going to die because I made a mess. Ain't nobody going to get mad because I make a mess that I got to clean up. Now, come on now. When they do that, they, they do do that somewhere, I'm sure. Okay, we're just going to go right on top of here with us some sauce. Be dignified when you do it, you know. You know, get you a spoon or get you a little measuring cup or something. Look at me, all down. 
subscribe down the side. I'm just gonna do it just like this, you guys. I think I have it saucy enough for me. I hope I do. Because I'm a sauce person. And I'm a texture person, person as well. But I'm a visual person. So it's just a lot be going on when I be cooking. So just let me be me. Let me be me. Because I ain't trying to make you be somebody that you not. Ew, that's a hit. Yeah. I can hear that on radio right now. Okay, so it's going in the oven. And when it come out, we're going to see what we get. Okay. Hey, you guys. So I'm back and it is ready, y'all. Our chicken parmesan bake is done. And I am going to get us a little bit out of this corner. We're going to check it out and see how she did, okay? <clears throat> Make sure you like this video by giving me a thumbs up on this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, that you're not just coming over here and looking. You might as well subscribe if you're going to look. That helps me out. Um, oh, y'all, this looks so good. Uh, I think it's going to be delicious. It's got just enough, uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, my chicken right there. Ooh. It's got just enough sauce for me. I don't think I'm going to be putting any... What do you call it? Sauce on the top either. We're just going to eat it just like it is. Of course, you can uh, drop you some Parmesan down on the top of this. And you can do whatever you want to once it's done. I'm going to be having this with some salad uh, and some uh, garlic bread. But would you look at her? She's done. I hope this doesn't uh, record totally different from the other way that I recorded because it looks totally different. But anyway, here she is. Let's pray, Lord. We thank you for this time that we come together to uh, love on each other over some food, y'all. This is what food and cooking is all about, uh, loving on people and sharing with people. I pray for each one of my subbies that they're, whatever they're going through at the time that they're watching this, that this will bring them a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness, just spending this time together. Lord, I ask that you watch over each one of my subbies and me and my family as well. We are living in some turbulent times and um, food should be the least that keeps us wear it and bothered okay i do this to bring joy to people's lives and when i feel like i'm not doing that no more i will uh stop doing it but lord we bring this food uh to you we ask you to bless at uh, this food bless the hands that prepared it and let it be a nourishment into our bodies lord and god if you're in a good mood let this pasta be good on our lips and not too bad on our hips in jesus name we pray amen so y'all so y'all so y'all okay Let's get us a piece and let's get us some pasta. Let's get us some of that crispy chicken. I'm going to let y'all go on and go first. You know, I don't care about no stinking nothing. Y'all go first because I'm nice like that. Yeah. It's everything you want. And some chicken parmesan. Mm. Y'all. I'm gonna love this one. Y'all gonna love it. Mm. And don't forget to get mm, a like for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe.